Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. In this video, we're gonna make three cards for the holidays using background stamps and heat embossing techniques. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab pink champagne, sangria, and rouge, and we're gonna start ink blending with the life-changing brushes and just create a nice background. So one of the tricks with these ink blending brushes is to have a light hand. I am guilty of sometimes not being patient enough, <laughs> pushing down too hard, and not taking enough time to get a good blend, but if you do all the things that I don't, <laughs> you'll be more successful at a good even blend. So I did go a little slower and a lighter hand on this than I normally do. So I uh, feel like I successfully got an even blend and I was really happy with it in the end. I went with the lightest color first and covered the entire card and then when with each additional color that I'm adding I'm not going into the center as far so that it gets darker as it goes out to the edges of the cardstock. I think that's a really nice look. I love how the rouge ended up looking on the outside of the ink blending. I think it looks really pretty. And so then I grabbed the Vintage Baubles stamp set. This is one of our red rubber background stamps and this stamp set is is more than meets the eye because you can use it for a gorgeous background or you can stamp it and cut out the individual ornaments and use them to pop up on a card. I'll link in the description below to another video that I did um, using just one of the ornaments hanging from a sentiment and it was really, really cute. So I'm using my Misty stamping tool so that I can ensure correct placement and I can stamp multiple times because I want a really good coverage of the embossing ink so that my embossing glitter will stick nicely to the places that I want it to. <laughs> I use my anti-static tool to wipe down my cardstock that ensures that the ink gets completely dry and so then the embossing glitter will stick to only the places I want it to. So I'm going to grab my Aladdin embossing glitter. This is a gorgeous gold glitter from WOW, and I thought it would look really nice with this sangria pink champagne rouge background. Now for the magic of heat embossing. So I'm going to grab my, my heat tool. Um, if you haven't embossed before, it takes a minute just to warm the tool up, and then once it's, it's heated up and, and your project gets heated up a little bit, it goes pretty quickly. But you're going to watch that powder turn. Um, it turns a little bit more shiny, and the sparkle takes on a little bit different look, and that's when you know it's done. I always kind of hold it and move it back and forth in the light a little bit and look to make sure all of the parts are shiny, uh, and then I know it's completely embossed. I'm just going to trim a little little bit off of the edges here and then um, I'll move on for the rest of the card. Now if you are new here I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I put up lots of fun um, card making videos and technique videos and bullet journaling videos and I would love for you to stick around and hang out with me. So since I cut off parts of the edges. Um, there is a little bit different look when you ink blend the edges as to uh, as opposed to like cutting them down. So I just added a little bit more ink around the end and then I'm kind of wiping it down to make sure that the ink isn't sticking to the embossed parts. <laughs> and then I'm going with a really simple sentiment here, just a fa la 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 on black cardstock embossed with white, and then there's a black layer on a white cardstock base. And I think this card came out really striking. Now moving on to card two, all of these cards are using background stamps and ink and ink blending, and they're all for holiday cards, but each one is gonna end up being very different. This one uses the Flourishes background stamp, which is a great staple background stamp to have in your stash. Uh, birthday cards, anniversary cards, uh, holiday cards, you're gonna get a ton of use out of this one. So I did the same thing, I just stamped the background with, with the WOW embossing ink, and this is on watercolor cardstock because I'm gonna add lots of water. I'm using the iced silver embossing glitter, which is absolutely stunning, and I'm just heating it here, and I think they really hit the nail on the head when they called this iced silver, because it does look icy. It's 
oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I'm just heating this and again, watching it in the light for it all to melt and turn shiny and gorgeous and glittery. And then it's time to get inky. So we'll clean up the embossing powder. I always like to just do it into, or you know, um, pour it onto my project over a piece of computer paper and then you can funnel it right back into the embossing powder container. Uh, and then I just um, trimmed a little bit off of the edges here and then I'm just taking suede shoes and it's a boy and just direct to paper, just adding ink right on top here. Watercolor paper can take a whole lot of water. So I sprayed this down and look at the gorgeous inking watercolory blended look that's happening here. So I could look at this all day long. I could just watch the water move and kind of seep in around the the embossed images. It's it's super fun. <laughs> so part of why we make cards is because the process, right? The art form and the process of it is so satisfying. So I hope you'll try this technique out and um, have fun with it. So I grabbed my Mary mini cover plate and I thought it would be fun just to die cut this and uh, use the letters for the sentiment here, but I need this to dry first. So I'm going to set it aside and start to work on my next background. So the third background technique piece, <laughs> we're going to start out with the do in the polka background stamp. Again, another super versatile background stamp that you're going to use on all sorts of projects. So I'm doing this again on white watercolor cardstock. I had to think about it for a minute. White watercolor cardstock as opposed to black or purple watercolor. I don't know. Just ignore me. <laughs> so I'm doing watercolor cardstock, white embossing powder. Uh, I did treat this with my anti-static tool first, but for some reason I have a couple little spots that uh, embossing powder stuck to places I didn't want it to. So I just use a little paintbrush to kind of flick some of those spots away. And then I'm heating. So again, just look at it in the light and watch for that powder to turn shiny and then you know it's done. So once I'm done, I'll just clean up my work surface and again, it's time to get inky. So I did a really similar thing to what I did with the Flourish in Blue background because I was so in love with it. So I grabbed my Mardi Gras ink pad in Lime Ricky and then I'm just gonna swipe using the direct to paper method right across the watercolor cardstock and then spritz it down with some water from my water bottle. And that water is just going to move the ink around and just give a really cool effect on the background. So Catherine Pooler ink, if you haven't guessed already or you don't know, it's water reactive, it's a dye based ink, it's water based and so it reacts when you get it wet. So, so many cool different techniques and effects you can get when playing with water and ink. So I thought this background was perfect to go with the Mary Mini cover plate. So I pulled out the letters and I set those aside. We're going to use those in a minute. And then I use the cover plate layer piece and I'm adding a lot of 3M mounting tape. I want this to lay flat and I want all of the pieces to be supported in between the letters, the pieces that kind of, there, there's some pieces that don't quite get supported, if you know what I mean. So like between the R and the little piece on the Y and the M. So just add little bits of, of mounting tape to those, those spots and then it'll lay nice and flat for you. And then I went into my stash and I grabbed one of the Santa hats from the Man with the Beard stamp set. Um, if you've been following my videos, you know I do this a lot. I, I stamp and die cut a lot of pieces at once and then I just keep them in a little Ziploc baggie. And then they're on hand when I'm doing technique pieces and making cards and then I have all those little pieces just on hand to add to cards. So it's really easy. So the little hat the and bright sentiment. I just uh, did white embossing on black, added some sequins, and this card is done. It's so cute. <laughs> so I will have all of the supplies listed below so that you can um, pop over to the shop and see all of the products that I use to make these cards. So now we are going to go back to the blue, the blue and silver card. 
So I'll use my Nuvo liquid adhesive to adhere all these letters, um, just dot, dabbing dot dot not a lot <laughs> to each letter and then I'm going to add them on the card and I like to use sometimes um, my blocks to kind of weigh down whatever I'm adhering and then it helps that lay flat and just adhere nicely so I'll add those and then the Christmas sentiment again white on black and that's it we're all done so I would love to know which of these cards is your favorite. If you'll leave me a comment in the section below on YouTube, I cannot wait to hear which one's your favorite. Um, do you have a favorite technique? Do you have a favorite background stamp? Do you have a favorite color combo? Do you have a favorite card? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and again, if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hang out with us more often here on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope your holiday card making process is in full swing and I will see you again soon.